Northbound Expeditions is brought to you in part by Fairview Jeep, a Fredericton's number one Jeep dealer. It's only been a week since I took possession of uh, Savage, but I've been itching to get this Rubicon on the trail and just to see what it feels like, to see the difference, just to get some mud on the tires and just get a feel for it. So as Savage sits right now, he's on the 2 inch Mopar lift, uh, coupled with uh, 35s by 13.5 inch tires, and other than some uh, cosmetic modifications such as the lights and the antenna, it is a stock Jeep. Just playing around here with the buttons. So you got the uh, first time in four high now, and uh, sway bar is disconnected. I love it. I love how easy this is. Awesome. Given how new uh, Savage is, I opted for the easiest option, the least likelihood of scratching up this Jeep at this point. Uh, but this is New Brunswick, so it's pretty much near impossible to uh, avoid contact with uh, branches and trees altogether. But I did what I could. The disconnected sway bar on the JL, it's so nice. Like, I mean, on Fury I have the, um, uh, the anti-rock sway bar, which is obviously always connected and it just, uh, um, creaks and groans as it stretches through its uh, as it cycles through its uh, range of motion and of course you know it does its job but I feel like with the actual disconnect it it feels a lot more it feels a lot more level I'm looking out the window and my wheels are like way down on one side and then the other one is obviously way stuffed but I can't see it and the hood is almost level so it's a lot of it's a lot of fun actually uh, driving it like this and uh, just the convenience of it, just having the one button, uh, I just, I love that. So it's a very different feeling. Like, I mean, this, I know wheeling this trail in Fury would feel a lot different. Um, it makes it very, very effortless feeling in, uh, in Savage. Both are great fun though. I love having this off-road pages menu. Uh, you can see the steering angle, obviously the transfer case position. You get these accessory gauges, which can monitor your uh, temperatures and pressures and whatnot. Um, and uh, obviously the pitch and roll as well, which is quite neat to have. This information on Fury, I have it off on the trail dash, 
uh, on a Superchip Trail Dash 2 um, here, having it built in from factory. It's and it looks so good. It's just phenomenal, and I love this. I love this feature. That way Do you guys see a wall in the side? It's mine. Oh, oh yeah, I lost wall. Well, I lost my wall last time I got out. It's like money and shit. Yeah. So Savage came with the uh, two liter turbo engine option um, and while it sounds a little bit like a blow dryer um, it or a little bit like a diesel even it has a nice little torque it has actually more torque than the V6 um, so it, it is nice I need that little extra uh, push to get over uh, something or just on a highway to pass someone step on the gas and you actually uh, move a little bit. Now, anyone that's ever owned a black vehicle, you know that black is the worst color to have a vehicle in, especially if you want to hide dirt and scratches. Uh, so for an off-road Jeep, it's obviously not the ideal choice. So the, the uh, intent is to uh, give uh, Savage a full-on body wrap. I'm going to keep it piano black, uh, put some logos on it, and call it a day just to get the extra protection uh, for from scratches. This would be a great camping spot too. By the looks oh, of it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, there's the very first time I ever went on a Jeep run. We came down here. Yeah. yeah. It was with the uh, Pirate Off Road Nation. Was it with the Jeep Corps? These are the Jeeps from the uh, from the same group that we met up with on uh, in the parking lot, but they're uh, the other half of the group. They're doing a different trail. This one's called Crack. Uh, it's definitely not something I would take uh, Savage on at this point. Um, some big boulders to climb over and stuff like that, uh, possible body damage, yeah. so obviously not uh, not something I'm going to go oh with uh, for now. Um, Sorry. The zoo's clear? Yeah. Now I find that the uh, 410 uh, gear ratio of the Rubicon coupled with the 35 inch tires and the 8 speed uh, automatic transmission really hits that sweet spot where it's it still feels very much like a factory setting and uh, it, it also kicks ass on the trail.
thick mud, no problem. Not a struggle whatsoever, no wheel spin. I know Fury would have probably spun some wheels and just flung mud everywhere. Such a different experience, such a different feel to this Jeep. I gotta love it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to go back to Fury, to be honest. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what, what my plan is gonna be. Because I would love to turn this into my Overlander. Even though Fury is all set up to be an Overlander, but I'd like to turn him into kind of a trail beast with lightweight, everything stripped out of it. And um, basically just half doors and soft top. And, you know, lightweight. And just do like technical trails with Fury and then have this, have Savage become a main overland rig. But I think this is a project maybe in a year or two from now. For now, this is gonna be my daily driver and occasional easy light trail, trail rig. But man, the comforts of this Jeep and the, the, how well it works and just having all the controls, like the sway bar, the lockers, like, and just, you know, this, seeing this, just like having the oversight of all your, your gauges and, you know, you see the status, the angle of your wheels, and pitch and a roll and all that stuff. It's just so cool. I mean, Jeep did such a good job with this. It's tough, but I'm just very happy that I have both Fury and Savage at this point. <laughs> 